2014 was the first time I ever wrapped a car and I think it is safe to say that in the 10 years the technology has come on leaps and bounds from the first wrap and the first time that I started to use Dub Customs when it comes to the quality of the vinyl material and also the technology to create a more realistic paint effect and get that metallic fleck within the wrap. However, behind me we have my wrapped Alfa Romeo and we also have Terry's Mini. We'll get Terry on to talk through what he has done to this car because in that direction over there, my R8 is currently undergoing a little bit of a makeover on a new product that I've never seen before has totally blown me away on social media and this video is going to be talking about the application process and also seeing it for the first time because I cannot wait to see how this R8 is going to turn out. Now here is the madman himself cleaning his car because he knows that it's going on camera. <laughs> But this is what you call purple chameleon? Purple chameleon. Over a purple wrap? Over a vinyl purple wrap, yeah. So yeah, when you actually see the paint, or wrap, sorry, should I say, fleck off the sun, it gives a really cool finish. And actually it's really smart. Thank you. So you've wrapped it, and then there's PPF over the wrap. And it's full car PPF over the top, yeah. <laughs> so you can actually put the PPF over anything to just get anything, an yeah. there's... added effect. I think there's about five or six different variants at the minute. You can put it over whichever finish you want. See, the darker the color, the better the effect will look. Yeah. But obviously you can go over like silvers. If you wanted reds, we've got like silver flake and red flake. That will give it more of a metallic look if your yeah. car's like a solid, for example. And my R8 at the end of it is not going to look dissimilar to the Alpha. No, it looks similar to that at the minute um, yeah so we've got a few panels on it yeah it looks really smart yeah i don't know i think the mini stick i think is the, your coolest combination yet because you've had some pretty wacky specs i've had some out there so obviously being in the industry you've got to go, you've got to yeah. go out there. <laughs> but no i like it orange details it's subtle but when you get closer like you can yeah, you can tell the, that there's been a lot of thought gone into it when the sun hits it it goes yeah. there's like gold in it that you don't even see in this light oh mega it, yeah it goes really different colors which is okay, quite cool. sick cool to see gives you an idea of what you can do with this PPF. I'm going fairly safe. Fairly safe, but in the sunlight, it's gonna look really it's cool. Gonna, yeah, yeah. It's gonna look cool. Look really and cool. also with the D-chrome as well, like the gloss black yeah. grill and everything like that. Black it all out, it yeah. looks smart. Lovely, well, it's a pretty two cool car combo here. So um, yeah, well, let's leave them here and then crack on and see what we're getting up to in that direction over there. Let's go. Look at that. There's no real obvious green fleck, is there? Not until it's on the car. This is where the magic happens. You can just maybe see it up here, but... It's essentially clear PPF that when applied... Goes green metallic. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, going on to the black door. It's mental. Instantly changes. So it's all pre-cut. All pre-cut. We're going to bulk and kit bomb some of the car, so it's yeah. just easier with the car. Like the bonnet will bulk, because then you don't get your joints in the middle. Yeah, yeah. The roof will bulk. Bumpers. It's just a lot easier to get a nice stretch round. Yeah. Other than that, quarters. So other than that, all pretty much all been cut for yeah. the car, which is nice and simple. Ridiculous. And actually, like my camera's probably not picking up the fleck, but I oh, know this will look mega outside in the sun. Yeah, in here you won't see it as much as outside. There's no like, like, with mine, like yeah. you saw earlier. You can see in here it didn't look as good as it looks outside. Yeah. So it's just our lighting in here. You need this it's particular natural, lighting yeah. to see all of the imperfections of like the paint. Yeah, and then obviously outside you see what it naturally looks like, which yeah. is completely different to what it looks like in here. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> we are back at Dub Customs three days on from when I left these guys and they've been working incredibly hard. I've got a massive smile on my face because walking in through those doors and being greeted by the front end of the R8 with the green PPF on the bonnet, the D-chrome has started. It looks amazing and the transformation 
is exactly how I imagined it. And when I bought this car, I knew it was a 14 year old car. I wanted to keep it OEM. I wanted to keep that nostalgic classic R8 V10 look with the diamond cut wheels, the silver grille, the silver badges, the silver fuel filler cap and everything to do with this car I enjoyed, at least for a year. But now I've started to bring it into 2024. I've got the interior done, the sound system, the Apple CarPlay. And now I feel like once this is finished, it's gonna be one of my favorite looking cars that I've ever owned. And the entire thing is PPF, whether it's carbon fiber effects on the wing mirrors, on the side blades, on the grills at the back, or whether it's this amazing clear, but with a metallic fleck green PPF that's going on across all of the black of the car. And there's still some little bits of black over on the other side that you'll be able to see the difference between the green and the black. But this finished is gonna look amazing. I know it looks like I'm wearing exactly the same as the last time that I came down here when it was raining, and you'd be correct. I'm wearing exactly the same coat because it's still raining. But behind those doors, my R8 is complete. As we speak, Terry is putting on the rear number plate. He's gonna be opening these doors. He's gonna knock first so that I'm ready to film. And then he's gonna reverse the car out, drive it down there, park it next to my Alfa Romeo before we talk about everything that we have done over the last three weeks. And by we, I mean, I've come up with some of the ideas and the guys at Dove Customs have executed them perfectly because the car looks insane. How good does that look? How clean does it look? How classy does it look? Now my Alfa Romeo is filthy. I've not cleaned it in about a week and I've done a fair amount of miles in it. Drove up to Manchester last week, but now Terry is putting the R8 next to it so that we can just get the two side by side. And the R8 looks so sick, so much meaner with the black grill, the black badge. And like I said, back when the car was up there, being a 14 year old car, it had a lot of exterior chrome and we're gonna talk a little bit about what has happened to this car. But as two car garages go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Now that is a two car garage, Terry. Get on camera now because you have been the legend that has kind of put this together. You were the one that introduced me to the PPF with the your PPF, mini. Yeah. Um, and now we have got a vinyl wrapped car and a PPF yeah. car perfect two-car garage you happy yeah it looks really cool yeah you happy yeah i think it looks so sick so let's go around the r8 what we've done and whilst we're doing that you might be seeing some of the tracking shots that we're going to get once we have finished filming but i've already excused the alfa romeo that is filthy but the r8 however do you want to talk us through what you've done so it's had the full car green profile material over all of the vehicle except the side blades which had the carbon PPF already. Yep. We did the additional um, carbon on the slats. Yeah, see I reckon if you had told me you were going to play around with the carbon on the slats, I yeah. probably would have said just leave them mate. Just yeah. They're supposed to be gloss black but I think they look really smart. They're subtle. Until you see them up close, same on the rear as well. They're quite subtle until you really look at them. We've also clear filmed the headlights to protect them from stone chips. Yep. So you don't want to put the green film on headlights. <laughs> <laughs> de chromes the grill and changed all the badges out for black ones. Yeah. Give it a nice little selfie look. The, the de chrome actually makes a huge difference with the grill in particular. There was a load of photos that I was seeing on this particular car and actually some of the footage that I'd shot during the sort of early stages of my ownership where I was like, Do you know what? That silver grill needs to go, which was why I bought these gloss black Audi badges. I think it was off eBay or something like that, but they stayed in the boot of the car. I actually had them when I did my road trip down to Monaco in May and I was thinking of installing them myself. I'm glad I didn't because <laughs> it probably wouldn't have looked this good. <laughs> no, it looks mega. It looks yeah. really nice next to that as well. They chromed all out. There we go, my, yeah, my green two car garage. When I was doing this, I thought mm, maybe I'm playing it a little bit too safe. I've never had two matching cars and now I do. <laughs> this angle right here makes them look so sick. 
What we have done though, which I think is vital on the V10, is we've kept the wheels diamond cut. Also kept the silver fuel filler cap. However, as we walk around the back of the car, these bad boys are now black, which makes a massive, massive difference. This is what Terry was talking about with the carbon fiber slats at the back. We've still kept the original V10 black piano band across the rear of the car. And then we've also got the black badges here. So overall, I am over the moon with these two cars. The fact that they are now together, they've both got Apple CarPlay, they've both got decent sound systems. This is about 20 times better than that, but that one's still okay. What a day. I know it's raining. Well, it was raining. It's actually not anymore. I think this is so sick, mate. Thank you so much. That's all right. No so cool. Can't wait to see it out on the road now. So I'm going to wrap the video up here. I'm going to flick the camera around and say once again a massive thank you to Dub Customs for creating this epic two-car garage. I'm going to get some photos. We're going to get some rolling shots. And just to see that car out in the flesh i cannot wait to see what it looks like in the sun we've got a pretty miserable day here in the uk but ladies and gentlemen let me know what you think of my two car garage and i will be sharing some more information and some exciting news very soon i'll leave the video there ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching take care goodbye